HVAC with Stephen Rarden is sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. Good morning, YouTube. It is Thursday, September 28th, and I'm headed over to do a blower door test. A uh, buddy of mine, Joe, was nice enough to hook me up with a uh, blower door and a duct tester so that uh, we can get familiar with the equipment and I've got a friend that had a blower test done, a blower door test done and he's been doing some sealing so he isn't done sealing but figured we'd give it a another test to see how his changes have made improvements so far hoping that everything turns out all right but um, yeah we're headed over there I'm gonna go ahead and test out setup and operation and all that good stuff so stay tuned should be fun We're here on site to do a blower door test for this customer. Once we get the blower door in place, we'll do a little bit of diagnostics around the house and see where we've got leakage and where we can improve. in your pressure reading and with this pan over top of the register for the duct system we've got a very minimal change in pressure which means that the duct is basically not leaking of any significance we're going to go check a, a couple of outlets over here This is an interior wall, so it definitely shouldn't show any leakage. <laughs> but if we're doing this with Corbett's percentages, we are about 5 50ths connected to outside. We're averaging out 7, 8, so that light switch is connected to the outside the house in one form or another. We're gonna go try another register or another uh, outlet over here. This one's up to 21, 22. This one is almost 50% connected to outside. That's 
pretty significant. 22.2 pascals when the house is under a 50 test. Let's go look at a bath fan if we can. Twenty-eight, almost thirty. So that's over fifty percent connected to the exterior. So we definitely have some leakage throughout the house on uh, bath fans, light switches, outlets, sockets. Let's see what else we can take a look at over here. Just for fun, let's see what the doorbell looks like. We know that the outlet at the floor is over 50% connected. This should have a very small hole to outside. The penetration should be basically just wires. And on the same wall as an outlet that is 50% connected to outside, we've got seven and a half pascals, almost eight. I'm gonna grab my uh, Seek thermal camera and just take a look around and see what that looks like. door doesn't have a drastic change in color anywhere so that actually looks like it's pretty well sealed oh wow yeah that panel box is leaking like crazy That doesn't look that bad, but... It's not bad back over here by the knee wall. As you go that way, you start seeing your infiltration. Your light fixture up there has got some good leakage. Yeah. Yeah, you can feel a draft coming through there. Wanted to take a minute to thank Retrotech for their quality products that allow me to be able to tell customers the condition of their house and what needs to be addressed. The blower door is an invaluable investment to make if you're in the industry trying to help customers improve the quality of their home. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. If you're looking for blower door or duct testing equipment, RetroTech is definitely your way to go. You can get all this equipment at truetechtools.com. And if you use the coupon code R-A-R-D-O-N, you can get 7% off your purchase. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.